question. The Mitzvah. <laughs> he might be. You might have just opened up a whole new history for him. He's an officer. Let's do it. Well, welcome to our table. Thank you. Look at this. I love this. Thank you for Thanks. keeping Gotham safe. Oh, well, I don't know how well I did that. I seem to be failing at that miserably every film. <laughs> Who the hell hired me? I'm not doing a very good job. Chaos is breaking loose everywhere. So uh, when you were when you were hired as as James Gordon for this for this storyline, yeah. what was your uh, impression of the character going in, and then that impression changed once you're near the end of the recording? Uh, well, I, this is the third time I've played him, so I I understand who he is. Uh, Did you play him? Was it was it Bad Blood? Yeah, Bad Blood and uh, Son of Batman. That's right. Yeah, and uh, so I, 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 it's a good question if he changed over the course of the film. Let me preface this by saying I haven't seen the film yet, and and I didn't read the script when I was given it, when I was given the role, <laughs> and we did it two years ago, and I'm trying to remember what we did. Um, I know that this particular film, there's so much chaos breaking loose in such a mysterious way. Nobody knows what's going on. And so he leans more on Batman more than he ever has. And he has to shove aside this inclination to arrest the idiot <laughs> for creating such a hard time with a, in the city. I'm, as we speak, I'm trying to see how it changed. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it has during the course of the film. I'll wait and see it tonight. I'll give you an answer after that. Find me later. Yeah. Would Sorry you like that. to see a Batgirl movie? That way you could kind of have a father-daughter relationship. Uh, Wouldn't that be great? Film? Yeah, right? Yeah, I want to see it. That would be awesome. Yeah. 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 I would Just love don't that. mention the rooftop scene. Well, we won't mention that in Killing Joke. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but uh, how would you think that would turn out, you know? Um, what would you like to see in a movie like that? I think it would be a great mm -hmm. way to flesh out both of their... Uh, characters in, in, in that relationship. I think it'd be really fun to explore that. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Because it would help her have a fatherly figure in her life and you know, to bring out that other side of her, not so vengeful or whatever she is. Yeah, it'd be really interesting. You're, con you're continuing to let a long legacy of uh, different Commissioner Gordon actors. Uh, yeah. Who have been some of your favorites? Gordon. I mean, uh, Gordon. Yeah, um, I love Gordon Oldman. himself. Oldman. Oh, Gary Oldman. Okay. I mean, I just love Gary Oldman to death. and Because he walks that... In every single scene that he's done, he's walking that line between love and hate for Batman. This Just this need to have him as a... Com companion as a, not a companion but as a as a partner in crime but also wanting to arrest the guy and so I think there's that huge battle and that dichotomy in his mind every single day and, and he plays that beautifully I think and and in particular Oldman's performance showed me the kind of emotion that a father has in the way he protects the people of the city. And that, for me, really rings a bell. I'm a father, and I, me, Bruce, that's, that's, that's what I try to bring mostly to Gordon, to playing Gordon, is that, the caring that he has for people, for all people. Is that, um, I guess, going back to my terms of impression, Mike, right? yeah. uh, your thoughts on the character, like, do you think that there's, there's, he's kind of weighed down by this reluctance in terms of his job and trusting Batman, or do you think that like he, is, is that something that he struggles with uh, every night, or does he like, is it just kind of in the back of his mind in terms of like, trying to trusting someone outside the law to apprehend those outside the law? Oh, I think, I, it, yeah, yeah, I think obviously at night it's the worst for Gordon because um, he has to put aside all that during the day to get stuff done. But um, it informs his actions during the day too, for sure. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's constant. I think it probably keeps him up at night. 
as someone who's played this character multiple times, do you feel like there's an aspect of the character that you haven't been able to explore yet that you'd really like to at some point in another film? <laughs> That's a good question. I, I no, I haven't thought about it, but uh, at thinking about it now. Uh, I don't know. I don't have an answer for it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you stumped me. Is there any character within the DC universe now you would like to play in voice? Um, I think everybody wants to play some villains. I mean, I everybody would want to crack a Joker. Well, that's, that's, that's but I good. think last question. Or maybe um, maybe even Two Face. Two Face would be fun to play because he's he's more human. He's you know he's just a guy that's through situation and circumstances really had to do a 180. Um, so. That would be fun to play. Just, just the immediacy of it, just because it's so fresh for him. This thing that happened to him, and, mm -hmm. but that you know, like a week before that, being heralded as virtuous and one of the good guys in the city. Yeah, yeah that would be really fun to play. There we go, DC. So there we go, DC. Yeah, there we go, DC. Yeah, that's awesome. Are you more comfortable playing uh, kind of brown characters like? Uh, Commissioner Gordon, or do you like getting kind of, kind of cut loose and kind of being a lot more manic or animated? I like doing those villains. I, you know, I've played a bunch of them. Um, they're, you know, they're always great, as opposed to the Marvel comics who tend to be more human and just psychologically messed up. The performances are more human, more everyday people. But the DC people let you cut loose and. You know, I played Atrocitus in Green Lantern, which is just this deep voice. Atrocitus guy. And, or I played Ubu, who's just this big thug, who's a criminal. Uh, Dasan is this little mangy little guy that wants Superman so bad. Um, so you can really get cut loose with those guys, and I, that's just fun. It's just so much fun. Yeah. I think I'm being called. <laughs> Thank you guys. Well, thank you.